so sweetly like he can hallelujah yes, yes. no one no one no one hallelujah for he is worthy of all the praise honor and the glory lord i thank you hallelujah let us go before the throne can everyone just stand for a moment thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord heavenly father lord we thank you for this is the day that you have made hallelujah and we shall rejoice and be made glad in it lord god we just we bless your holy name for you alone are so worthy. You're more than worthy. Yeah. And we cannot praise you enough. Hallelujah. We honor you today. Hallelujah. For you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Hallelujah. And we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. For you alone are worthy. Hallelujah. Oh, God, for we lift up our hands before you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, we do, Lord. Hallelujah. We say thank you for all the many benefits, Lord God, that you have bestowed upon us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to continue to put in, hallelujah, what we have so that when the time is needed, hallelujah, we yeah. can withdraw, hallelujah, peace and joy, hallelujah, those things that the world try to take from us, hallelujah. We know that when we need it, it is there, hallelujah. We just need to call on the name of Jesus and you hallelujah. will show up for us always on time, hallelujah, never late, hallelujah. So I'm going to continue to deposit Hallelujah, what you have given unto me. Yes, Jesus. Continue to work through me, Lord. Work through us. Hallelujah, that you might be glorified in the name of Jesus. Thank for you God. are high and lifted up. And we bless you today, Lord God. Be in the midst of this service. Hallelujah. Humble us, O oh God. Let us receive your word. Open up our hearts and minds and our ears that we might hear what you have for us on today. Lord God, bless those that might be on their way. Lord God, those that are here. Lord God, those who can't be here, Lord God, those who may be watching via Facebook, Lord God, bless them as only you can. In your precious name we pray. Yes, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Second Th Timothy, amen, five, amen, and I'm sorry, Second Timothy one and six and seven says, for this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, fan into flame the gift of God. We all have a gift from God. Flame, fan that flame into reality, which is in you through the laying out of hands. Amen. For God gave us a spirit, a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and of self-control. Amen. Thank you, Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and doing of his word. Amen. Don't be afraid to use what God has placed inside of yes. you. Amen. He wants to work through you to bless somebody, to encourage somebody, to lift somebody up, to do a great work in him. Amen. For we are not fearful in the name of Jesus. We are not fearful. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm no longer afraid. Hallelujah. Lord, I bless your name, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. We bless you. Lord, you unravel me with a melody. You surround me. 
Come on. Thank you, Jesus. I am a child. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm no longer a slave to fear. For I of the Lord. Amen. We don't own the rights to this music. Amen. Lord, we thank you today. Thank you for worship today. Hallelujah. Thank you, First Lady, for being obedient. Amen. To the Spirit today. Father, as, as it's raining right now outside, we can hear the beating is up and on the roof. Father, I, I thank you for making it into the ark of safety today. Anybody glad that you made it into the house of the Lord today? Hallelujah. Lord, we bless you today. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name today. It could have been different. It could have been worse. So God, but you look beyond all of our faults. And you see every last one of our needs. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you for our audience of one today. Hallelujah. We just want to be in your presence today. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, oh God, to sit at your feet. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We've conquered the spirit of fear. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you for those that have joined us. Oh, God, would you join us in worship today? If you've conquered your fear, you ought to give him a high, high praise today. Hallelujah. Because the Lord is high and he's lifted up. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we praise you today. Hallelujah. Oh, the fear doesn't rule my spirit anymore hallelujah we are more than conquerors through him oh god lord we bless you today hallelujah we thank you lord oh you brought us a mighty long way hallelujah if we had a measuring stick oh to show how far you have brought us Jesus. hallelujah the oh, words cannot express our praise is not long enough oh god our heart oh god can't feel it enough oh god hallelujah the lift is not deep enough. Oh, Lord, you brought us a long way. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we are mindful today. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did anybody come with the praise today? Hallelujah. Lord, to say, Lord, I love you. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, I bless you today. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, you've been good to us. Hallelujah. Far better than we can 
never be to ourselves. Oh Lord, we worship you today. Hallelujah. Mm. Just think about what he's done for you. Hallelujah. I want to be where you are. Lord. Oh yes, God. Anybody remember when you were far from the Lord? Hallelujah. And you didn't feel his spirit. Oh God, I remember when I was in that place. Oh God, I didn't even know you like I know you now. Oh, what a joy to know you. Hallelujah. I want to be where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any place. Absent from God is darkness. Oh, the world believes in a beautiful darkness, but they don't know that they're blind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not beautiful in a dark place. But Lord, I thank you for bringing, hallelujah, my ashes and turning them into beauty. Hallelujah. Anybody got a story, a testimony, hallelujah, of what God has done for you? Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, we are mindful that you are God and that you are the one that we should lift up, not man or nobody. Father, it's in you that we live and we move. We have our very being, oh, God. Thank you for our breath today. Hallelujah. Lord, you brought us another month. My cup, Lord. Anybody brought a cup to Give to the Lord today. Hallelujah. Somebody lift up your cup with praise. Hallelujah. Just lift up your hand. Make, make, make seem like it's a cup in it in the name of Jesus. Oh God. Because how many know that's all we can is bring him our gifts. Oh God. Lay your burdens at the altar. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we love you today with an everlasting love. Father, would you bless our efforts and endeavors to please you today. Lord, this is our praise. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And if you love the Lord, just give him a praise today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. God is good. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. Thank you for those that have come today. Amen. To worship with us. Amen. Amen. Such a special treat to see you in the house of the Lord. Amen. Those that are watching through Facebook, amen, and social media, amen. We welcome you to our worship experience today, amen. Today is first Sunday, amen. How many know that time is going by fast? I'll say it again, you didn't hear me. Time is fleeting. It is running away from us in the name of Jesus. And how many know you can't catch up with time? Hallelujah, you can't catch up with time. Time cannot be caught by mankind. It can just be chased. Amen. There's a songwriter said, I'm what? Chasing after you. How many know you can't find God? How many know you can't find him? He is everywhere. Amen. And he is, amen, a God that he'll only allow you to touch you when you come in his presence. Amen. Open your Bibles today, amen. I think I have a good lesson that I believe is going to bless us today, amen. It is August already, amen. It's some young people in the house, and I hate to even remind you, but school starts on this week. I'm so sorry to say it, amen. I, I graduated my, I can't, Lord have mercy, I ain't even going to stay there long. I just, I feel for our young people that got to get up early, amen. But how many know, amen, and this is a word for us today, that, amen, the lesson is still in session. Mm -hmm. The lesson is still in session. Go to John's Gospel, the uh, fifth chapter. Amen. On, always on first Sunday, amen. We say a prayer, we make our special requests known, and Amen. In the name of Jesus. Um, normally, amen, I do the prayer on first Sunday. Amen. And I think first lady forgot, but I think she was in the spirit and she just went for hers. <laughs> I mean, no, you got to go for yours. Amen. 
You're not going to get to heaven and say, well, I was waiting on the pastor. Amen. How many know you got to have a personal, what, personal relationship with the Lord to be able to go to God for anything you desire? Amen. So this is the deep word as always we give you. Amen. Some good word on um, first Sunday. We pray that every month or every week of the month is a good word. But amen. We're going to do, thank you, Minister Bill, some scripture walking today in the name of Jesus. Are you there? Say amen. 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 And so we're going to read back normally in um, the delivery of the word. You read forward. Amen. So you can understand just of the word, but we're going to read backwards, amen, we're going to start at 19, 5 and 19, amen, just to give us, amen, an answer, amen, before the prayer is given, an uh, answer before, how many in the house, those that may be watching today, are you waiting on something from God right now, amen, right now, I see a couple hands, amen, and two, not only just waiting, but you're in that place of frustration while you're waiting. I'm going to lift both my hands up. Amen. Um, and I'm going to be honest. I'm in a frustrated place waiting for the next move of God. And watch. What, that doesn't mean that you're not blessed. It doesn't mean that you're not okay with what God is up to. But frustration will meet everybody's door. Frustration will knock on everybody's door. It'll come in your room and it'll sit down with you and it'll say, how are you doing today? Amen. Just like First Lady ministered so beautifully. Amen. I am no longer what a slave to fear. Amen. Uh, you got to conquer your fear. You got to conquer. I don't know who I'm talking to today. Amen. You might be watching, sit in your room. You have to conquer that spirit of fear because it's not from God. It's from the enemy. So we're reading backwards, 19 verse, amen, and then we're going to make our um, message make sense from the fifth gospel, the first verse. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he seeth the father do, for what things soever he doeth, these also do of the son likewise. Somebody say imitation. imitation. If you're going to be like somebody, anybody remember, I want to be like Mike, amen, and everybody bought the shorts, everybody bought sneakers, amen. Folks still got all kind of uh, Michael Jordan uh, sneakers, you know, all that, what's the word? Memorabilia, thank you. All up on their wall, all up on their walls. And guess what? Can nobody, what, still be like, be like Mike? Paul said, I want to be like Christ. Follow me. Follow me as I. Come on, y'all know the scripture. Follow Christ. Amen. We got to make sure, amen, that we're emulating, especially now in this untoward generation where the culture, amen, wants to teach us how to be. How many know the word is not, even though it's the best-selling book ever, the word is not the best selling book purchase today. You can buy everything you want on social media. Amen. You can look on um, your social media webpage, Facebook, all of that. And there's so many things that's more attractive than the word of God. Mm -hmm. it's, it's prettier. It looks better. It, it's, it's easy to get into. I heard someone say, and I'm parking here for a moment. I heard someone say that I don't believe in God. I believe in science, but I don't believe in God. Well, if you believe in science, <laughs> then how in the world can you not believe in a God that made the science? Amen. Jesus says, if you see me, you've seen the Father. The 20th verse, this is going to make sense in a minute. For the Father loveth the Son and showeth him all things that himself do it, and he will show him greater works, somebody say greater works, than these that ye shall marvel. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quickeneth whom he will. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto the Son. Oh man, that's a good one to park there, boy. 
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And I'm going to confess because I never really saw that scripture like this until I see it now as I present it to you. Let's go back over that one, amen, as we read it. For the Father judgeth no man, but hath committed all judgment unto Jesus. Isn't that what the word say? Boy, that's deep right there. How many know that the only way to get to heaven is through what? Jesus. Is Jesus. So guess what? God cannot save us. Listen. The only way is to go through what? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's why you can't have all these type of gods. It's only one God. Oh, this is, this is going to get real good. I don't know about y'all, but it's feeling good to me. Amen. For as the Father raises up the dead and quickeneth them, even so the Son quicken whom he will. Go to the fifth uh, chapter now, first verse. So school is about to happen. Amen. Um, somebody say the lesson is still in session. If you're writing down on your paper program or anything in your Bible, there are three basic ways that people learn. Three basic ways that people learn. And one of these, didn't think about it before until now, is through experience. How many know that's a good way to learn? But if you can show me before I go through, I don't have to experience it. Just tell me, teach me, it'll help me. But there are three ways. The first one is a visual. Somebody say visual. Second one is auditory. A-U-D-I-T-O-R-Y. And the third one is kinesthetic. Kinesthetic. Amen. So if you're writing down visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. I might be pronouncing that last one wrong. Amen. Don't judge me. Amen. Jesus will, not you. Amen. <laughs> Some might say hallelujah. <laughs> so the first one is visual. It's by reading charts. They are excellent spellers. Uh, they're tidy. They're fast. Talkers. Amen. People learn visually. Doesn't that make sense? People learn a lot through visual. Um, that's why some people can learn, amen, by sitting in a class being taught, but then there are others that can learn through online teaching. Amen? So here's the second one, auditory. You know it's going to be audible. Information through your ears, like speeches or presentations or audiobooks. Amen? Isn't it funny we learn different ways? Somebody say, that boy dumb or that girl, uh, she's so fast. Or so, no, they just, it's a different way that you got to get to them. And a lot of times we throw folk away. Y'all, you, know, you just don't have, you, you don't know how to get, you, uh, a lot of people don't know how to approach people. Anybody know folk like that? That's just, you know, you see people, I'm coming, I'm going the other way. Because they're not approachable. You lose them before conversation happens. Amen. You got to be able to talk to people on the level that they can receive. And that's before you even say a word. Amen. The third one, kinesthetic, is mostly male. Watch this, mostly male. And that's bad that the men is the one in this category. But mostly male, they're skilled athletes or athletes and they're musicians. Uh, they're, they do construction. Um, this is the third one, and it's a low percentage. The first one, visual, amen, is 65% if you're writing down. The second one, auditorial, 30%, amen, and then kinesthetic is 5%. I know some of you are saying, Pastor, why in the world we got to learn about numbers? School ain't starting yet. I wonder why? Because school, amen, is still about learning, even though you're out of school. The lesson, somebody said the lesson is still in session. Here now we're going to the fifth chapter, the first verse, those that are just coming in, God bless you. Amen. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk. Some were blind, some were halt, some were withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Now, guess what, y'all? We have heard this text. How many have ever heard this text preached over and over? And we have our own visual. Remember the, the ways of learning. Our own visual 
of how in the world can someone not want to get, especially, hello, Florida, where we live. How in the world you don't want to get in a pool that's refreshing and that, that will be uh, revitalizing to your body. It'll, it'll give you, you know, uh, relaxation. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody went on vacation and you experienced a pool? How refreshing. It, that's the main thing about vacation. I want to get what? In the pool. Here it is in the text, amen. There is a man, amen, that does not want to get in the pool. Mm, let's park there a while. You know some folk that don't want to get better? Oh, y'all gonna help me after a while. Anybody that don't want to learn, you know anybody like that? Amen. That think they know it all. Amen. Do not look at your neighbor. Please don't turn to them. <laughs> you don't know anybody that don't want, that think they know everything about every subject. Amen. I was watching uh, something uh, on social media today. It was about 20 lions and tigers in a cage. And it's amazing. Remember, our, our topic today is three ways that we work. We learn how in the world that an animal that cannot talk back to you can listen and understand everything that you're telling them. Mm. Something like a life cycle. Thank you, Jay. Amen. The lions, amen, and tigers, amen, they are trained to get up on these big things and they are, they don't even know, watch this, that they're entertaining people. Mm, that's the backdrop of the story. Amen. The people come and they pay their money to watch. Amen. This circus attraction. But the lions don't know that they are being used. Oh, y'all will help me after a while. Anybody ever been used before? Because of your talent or your skill? Amen. And sometimes it's okay to use me. Hello. Because <laughs> I know my ability. But there are other times. Uh, don't use me. Don't. Don't put me out there because I'm gooder or I'm better at something. Amen. Use me because, amen, I'm good at it. Thank you, Deacon John. Amen. Um, these lions and tigers, amen, are being you. They are being prostituted. Oh, Y'all going to get deep with me after what? They're being used because what? They're animals. Y'all still, you still don't see it like I see it yet. Watch this. Amen. Remember, there are three ways to learn. Anybody ever, when the last time you talked to an animal? <laughs> it's, been <a> <laughs> it's been a while, right? <laughs> that was the right answer. <laughs> These tigers that are so big, and, you know, we watched the movie Prey yesterday, amen, and, and, and the predator, I ain't going to get the story away, the predator, uh, you know, this big bear is after this girl, amen, and the girl's so terrified of the bear, but she don't know it's another beast that's more terrifying than the bear. It's amazing, amen, what brings us fear. Mm. First lady said, I've, I've conquered my fear. Here, this man is fearful of the pool. Mm. Somebody with me say amen. Here now, back to the text, amen, five, amen, and four, amen. He says, third verse, in these lay a great multitude of impotent people. That means, guess what? I'm not the only one that's fearful of this refreshing water. Guess what? That means there are other people in the same mental condition that I'm in. Oh, y'all mind if I talk to you, right? Anybody ever been in a mental place where you don't know where you are? Mm -hmm. All this week through my job, we've had to deal with at least three people that were mentally messed up. Mentally, just out of it. On the property, no shoes. Just coming back and forth. Amen. Don't, don't. Oh, do you not understand how good it feels to be in your right mind? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. When you got a choice. Boy, I feel like preaching today. When you got a choice of what food you want to eat. Yeah, you missed it. You missed it. Some of us. Not us really, but some of us as people, we are so patholo pathologically, habitually messed up that we got to go to the same restaurant every week. Oh, but you don't know that's a problem. Because what if the person with you don't want to eat what you eat? 
And then our, why we got to go to the same place every week you want to go to? Oh, how I many know it's a mental challenge, amen, to be different. Oh, I'm going to remember by the pool. Oh, you didn't think this message was going to be easy, did y'all? <laughs> by the pool is everybody, what? That's impotent. That means no strength. That's what, what, what's the rest of what verse is it, D? Five. Hallelujah, four verse. Where is that? Three. It says, they lay a great multitude of impotent, they're blind. How many old folk today walking around, amen, in the daytime, blind? Because guess what? If you're not saved, guess what? I don't care who you are, amen, those I'm watching social media right now, you are blind if you have not made Jesus your personal Savior. Amen. Thank you. I got some help in the house. Amen. These are the end times. There's no more time trying to make up a decision. Hello, somebody. You ain't got to be perfect. You ain't got to be the preacher. How about, but you need to what? Make Jesus what? Your personal Savior. Somebody ought to give him praise of that one, hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together for that one, hallelujah. If that is not the appetite, amen, that we should be giving people, hallelujah, something is wrong. The culture has made us blind to the fact that we can keep living this life by the pool and not get in. Hallelujah. How in the world are you not going to go on vacation and the first thing you want, I can't wait to what? Get in the pool. But here back to the text, they're laying by this pool, amen, impotent. And some were broken. And I'm, I'm putting this in. Some were confused. It says on the third verse, they were withered. They were waiting for people I mean, no, you you got to be get to that season. I remember I told you first lady, like, hey, you got to you got to go. What is our motto? Get it into you. It's time to go. Amen. Why wait for the house is burning? Amen. Well, y'all gonna catch it after a while. Why wait till it's a sale at Macy's? Everything is, you know, everybody, the, the, the bonds, the guns, and the, the well, you have got to go. Amen. Hallelujah. But guess what? They're waiting for somebody to tell them to go. And I found out that, oh, I'm waiting for the leader. Oh, I'm waiting for, no, it's time to go. Because your Bible says all you need is a little, little bit of faith to believe. And all believing is, is going. Mm -hmm. So here now, we're back at the pool. And we go, we got to get a pool. Hallelujah. I got to get a pool. Something that looked like a pool. Anybody can think of something look like a pool? The only thing I can think of is a convenience store. <laughs> That'll work. Boy, they'd put me out of the church if I was in somebody else's church. Because that's so sacred. But <laughs> this is the pool. Somebody say we're at the pool. We're at the pool. Back to the I can't even get past the third verse. They were they were waiting for the moving of the water. And now the fourth verse is very critical. Because how many know whether you know it or not, your time running out. Amen. You, know, you might be growing, thank you, Holy Ghost, but your time is still what? Did y'all see on the news this week? Mm, feeling in my spirit. It was about seven people in this one car. This lady was pregnant. I think it was somewhere in Florida. And she was just driving fast. We don't, don't nobody know what happened, but there's video footage of her just running through traffic and the, the car just blew up on the other side. Amen. And the, the dead baby flew into a lady, right in front of a lady. I'm not making this up, y'all. And they tried to bring, resuscitate the baby and the baby was dead. 
How many know that you might be growing, but your time is running out? Nobody knew that morning. That's why you got to get in the pool. Woo. Now, now, we, we got this pool looking like a vacation spot. But how many know today this pool is the pool of salvation? This, this, this pool is the pool of redemption. This, this, this pool is the pool of forgetting my past. Hallelujah. And pressing forward, amen, to the thing that God want me to be or for me to do. Oh, yeah. Boy, I feel my preacher man coming. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to go back to some important stuff about a visual learner. Amen. That's where we, that experience comes from. But I got to read this last one. Amen. Before we get there. Four verses. Very critical. For an angel went down at a certain season. Somebody say, when every time in the Bible, certain means what? It's real. We talked on that last week. It means it's real. It's not no fictitious. It's not no something they made up. There was a certain season, amen, that an angel went down at a certain season into the pool. It's important that you see that. The angel went where? Into the pool. Not around the pool. <laughs> not near the pool. And I'm, I'm changing the, because we got young people in the house, I'm changing the, the, the delivery of this message so they can understand it. The, the, even the angel went in the pool. So how many know the most important thing is not the man, it's not the angel, it's not even the season, but what? The, the pool. It's a certain time. And thank you, Holy Ghost. Don't you know that God has given you a certain time to get in the pool? Amen. Folk coming to Simpson Park. How, how do we pay to get in the pool? Most times we look at them crazy because we think that everybody should know we're not Simpson Park. The pool is over there. But so many people are jumping into the wrong pool spot. They're jumping into the wrong water spots looking for the right pool. But if you don't have the information that you need, you're going to keep what? Going to the wrong water spot. Oh, but we got to tell them over and over, you're in the wrong place. Uh, you, you're doing, anybody know, anybody ever told you you're doing the wrong thing? Amen. Remember now, we're talking about three ways to learn. And the best way to learn is for somebody to tell you so you ain't got to go through what I've been through. Jesus said, when you've seen, God said, when you've seen my son, you've seen me. Oh, y'all don't mind if I teach you today. Watch this. It says, amen, for an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and he troubled the water. Mm. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made whole and whatsoever disease he had. Now, you can read the rest of the text in your leisure. Amen. We're going to keep reading a little bit. But guess who got the blessing? The first one. So guess what, y'all? You got the what? You got the, you got the go. You got to be ready to go. On your march. Oh, you get ready. Get set. I thought I had some young people to holler. A little jazzy. They'd be like, okay, I'm waiting. A little more. Let's try it again. On your march. Get set. It, sometimes if I get a false start, it's okay. Because I'm ready. But how many know some of us even scared? They talking to us in the room. But people in general, we scared to get a false start. Because fear is laying down with us. Not only, watch this, we're going to get to the text. Watch this. Not only am I laying down impotent and broke, weary and wounded, but not only in my own, in my own condition, there is a condition on me. <laughs> Pastor, what are you talking about to show you? Visual learners, watch this if you're writing down, they learn through seeing. Pictures, mental images to retain information. Some people won't learn unless I see it. Mm. 
Dr. Thomas said, I, I'm not going to believe until what? I touch. You, Jesus, you got to come down. How many? I don't need Jesus to come down. I believe. Anybody else in the house believe? Anybody else needed a miracle and God brought it to you before? Visual learners, they learn through seeing, reading, puzzles, writing. And, and guess what? Don't you get mad with people when they learn differently than you. Mm. You missed the chance to say hallelujah. Because guess what? It's up to everybody to hear and to receive. Faith coming by. Hearing and hearing by the word of God. Here it is. We're still at the pool. Amen. It's a certain man. Amen. It's a certain season. The angel came down. Troubling on the water. Fifth verse says. And a certain man was there. Which had an infirmity 30 and 8 years. Now we find out. His real problem. <laughs> Who's all at the pool? Y'all help me. Third verse. In these lay what? Invalid, blind. Impotent folk. Blind. Halt. Yeah. Withered. Paralyzed. Some versions say paralyzed. What does your version say? If you got a Bible, what does your version say? Halt. Withered. Halt, withered. How many know we live in a world where everybody got issues? Everybody should have said hallelujah. From the pulpit, we all got issue. And the best way to get through your issue is let somebody what, help you through your issue. So on this week, one of, one of my staff, they went outside with me. We got the boy some shoes out of my trunk. They ain't brand new. But so he wouldn't walk around with nothing covered his feet. Anybody, when last time you helped somebody? Did you help somebody on this week? Huh? Somebody, y'all be proactive. Talk back to me. Hey Amen. I see some hands. The lesson is still in session. She. She talked to him for about 30 minutes, took him to one of the places, Lighthouse, got him a bed, brought him Wendy's on the way. Two hours later, he walking back in front of Simpson Park. In this pool, before the pool, we realize everybody don't want to be old. Everybody in your family, in your circle, on your job, don't want to be better. Anybody want to be great in God? Just great to be the best you can be? But guess what? Everybody don't think that way. <laughs> And guess what? You cannot, hopefully y'all gonna shout on this, you, got, you cannot let people that have weak minds, amen, stop you from being a great thinker. How long are you gonna keep waiting by the pool for them? Hello, somebody, it's time to go. It's time to get up and get in the water. Because this blessing, if it has your name on it, then why you don't want to get it? Boy, y'all ain't really helping me like I thought y'all were going to help me. Especially in this front row over here, the second row. <laughs> you know, I want the, you know, I want first lady, hallelujah! <laughs> Maybe I got to go to acting. Preach it, Tracy! Preach it, Pastor! But how many know everybody in the pool got their own they got to get in the pool to get in themselves. How, how many know you? Hey, I'm trying to get in the pool myself. Because we all got our own what? Own way of thinking. Even though it's three ways of learning. But we all learn differently. Mm. I'm, I'm moving now to the gist of the message. We're going to have worship in a moment. But the visual learners, we just told you that. 
They learn by reading puzzles. Y'all with me say amen. amen. Writing and, and maps and charts. The auditorium. The second one, auditorium. They are good at speaking and presentations. How many know everybody can't walk this day? Y'all hear me? Everybody can't get up here and, and talk. You know, and I'm not saying like I'm better than anybody, but there are just some people that's just beautiful at what they do. Somebody say amen. amen. So there is something for everybody to do. And these auditorial uh, people, they are good at speaking and pres presentations. They think in words. They think in words. So watch this. When you're trying to figure out relationships with your spouse or with somebody, whatever, you, the number one thing is y'all different. 27 years, me and first lady still. <laughs> Sometimes we different. But we understand that we are different. You know, I'm at the, at the living room table and I'm got my studying there and, you know, I get some other stuff and, I, and it, it's, it's like, it's chaos, but it's control chaos because I'm sitting there in, in under control. She come in there this morning after making her some breakfast and, you know, we talked two seconds and she just started moving stuff on the table where my chaos is. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm like, go ahead. That's just you. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. Just go ahead. And the lion tamer, those that missed it, he taming all these lions and he can turn his back. Watch this. He can, he can turn his back on the ones that's waiting for them to be instructed. Why? Because he's already taught them what to do. How many know that if Jesus has already taught you to get in the pool, baby, you got to get in the pool. Hallelujah. After a while, this pool going to make a whole lot of sense. And, and now I see why the writer, amen, gives it a pool experience. Who don't want to get in the pool? Those that's fearful of swimming. Mm, got a phobia. So that's why people haven't gotten better. That's why people haven't recovered from some stuff. But somebody in the house say, I'm going to recover everything. That God wants for me. Hallelujah. Give God a praise with that. Hallelujah. Oh yes. Hallelujah. I remember I walked out of school. 20 something years ago. Because I didn't understand all them papers. Didn't have the circle that I needed. Amen. 20 years later. Amen. I got a degree in the mail. Hallelujah. With, from St. Leo. Hallelujah. And how many know it seems like yesterday. Even though I'm in a new season. By a new pool. Don't, don't disregard, amen, the old, old vision you had, even though it's in a new season. Amen, mm. amen somebody. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo. What verse? When Jesus saw him, now we have the man almost ready for worship. Jesus saw this one individual. How many know when it's time for God to judge you, or we found out that God ain't going to judge you, who's going to judge you? Jesus, when it's time for Jesus to judge you, ain't nobody else going to be there but you. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jeremiah can't say, I was waiting on my sister Jazz. How many know this thing is personal? I got to get it for myself. I got to get it for myself. So here now, Jesus, amen, is about to entertain Somebody's foolishness. Anybody ever been foolish before? Yes. Oh, childish. Yes. Oh, yes. Have entertained something for too long. Yes. And, and, and guess what the pool represents? A bunch of folk entertaining foolishness. I can see it so clear. Mm -hmm. As God looks down from heaven way. As Jesus looks through your heart, amen, at people that we still hanging around. If you still hanging around people that's acting foolish, something wrong with you. Because you either were going to draw them or drive them. Hello, somebody. Because if you're hanging around me, amen, you know what I represent. I got folk around me that work with me and they said a curse word. And they go, oh, I'm sorry, Pastor. Oh, I'm sorry, Trey. How many know that's respect? 
But if you hang around folk that don't care about you, don't care about your family, don't care about your relationship, and then why are you still with the pool at the pool with them? Hallelujah. Remember now they were blind, they were they were they were withered, amen, they were whole. Hallelujah. What verse D? Six, when Jesus saw him lie, I know I'm taking a long time to get there, but watch this. I think it's going to bless you. We're almost ready for worship. When Jesus saw him lie, is that the right spelling for a lie? Look at your text. Hopefully you're still with me. Sixth verse. Okay, fifth verse says, and a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years. So how do you spell lie when you're laying down? Remember now, three ways to learn. If you didn't, if you came to church today thinking you weren't going to get no learning experience, something wrong. <laughs> Lying down. Y'all going to make me lie in my robe? It's okay. How do you spell this type of lie? Y'all got Mr. Google. Y'all ain't even doing it. L-Y-E. I thought L-Y-E was a lie like a die. It is. Right. It is. So that's not right. That is. That is. So, so, you sure? What does your text say? Remember, there's three ways to learn. I just gave y'all visual. Y'all didn't know this was coming. I gave y'all visual. An auditorium is good at speaking and presentation. Thinking in words, not pictures, verbal lectures, or storytelling. That's all you, we, we learn audibly. So what's that word lie? We know when people lie, that's an L-I-E, right? Yeah. So when lying down, what does it say? L-Y-I-N-G? Okay, y'all with me now. Somebody say, school don't start to Wednesday. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> Mari said, my brain ain't here yet. Hallelujah. <laughs> here it is. Watch this. It says, when Jesus saw him lie and knew he had been at the pool a long time. In that case, he said unto him, wilt thou be made whole? So he, it's not enough that you're still at the pool. But you don't even realize that you're still lying to everybody and the main thing, yourself. Have you ever had, almost ready for worship, have you ever had a conversation with yourself and you told yourself you got to do better? Amen. Amen. I, I'm, Tracy, you messed that one up. Tracy, you missed the moment. You dropped the ball on that. It ain't in no game. Trey, you dropped the ball on that. And you went away shaking your head, scratching your head. I got to do better. Jesus sees this man. Just there. I don't want to be just there. I want to be in a place where I make a difference. I, I want to, I feel worship, but I know I got a couple more scriptures. Amen. I want to be in a place where not only are you making a difference, but you make a difference in people, Amen. which is a whole nother level. Amen. This, this little boy and his dad comes into, into Simpson Park. Amen. Amen. See, I, I learn auditory. I like to still tell stories. Amen. And, and, and little boy comes in. Amen. I haven't seen him in about two years. Jay, the last time I seen him, I was coaching him at the YMCA. So he comes in and he has another trainer. And I say, hey, what's going on, young man? What's going on? Now, mind you, y'all, mind you, y'all, he don't know who I am. Because it's been two years. At the last time I saw him, he was six. Now he's eight. I don't know if my stomach was bigger or I got gray hairs, but Jazzy didn't know who I was. So I recognize him and his father. His father recognized me automatically because I'm, how many know that we learn when we're older, we learn things differently than when we're young. David said, when I was young, uh, come on, I thought like a child, did stuff like a child. But when I'm old, what I put away, childish thing. 
I don't know if thank you Holy Ghost. I don't know if First Lady said, you need to put this stuff away, man, instead of me putting it away for you at the table. Amen. <laughs> now you with me. So the boy comes in to the gym. He don't know who I am. And I, I want to do something special, y'all. I want to say to him because I think he remembers me. I just know he remembers me. But I say, before y'all say anything, before they sign up, I say, who's the best coach you ever had? And the boy's sitting there thinking. He says, well, I had a coach named Tracy at the YMCA. And they just bust out laughing. And the coach that's going to coach me today, Deacon John, he don't realize that I'm the same coach that coached him two years ago. And I said, man, I'm the one. I'm Coach Tracy. And his eyes lit up like he learned something new. Mm. He just forgot who I was. But he remembered the impression that I put on him. How many know whatever worship, whatever pool experience you have, you got to learn something from where you were. Because guess what? Just being at the pool is not enough. Mm, watch this. Reverse. Seven. The impotent man answered him. Sir. And this is very important. I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool. But while I'm coming, Another one steppeth down before me. And the last part of this learning is, watch this, is the kinesthetic, or I may be pronouncing it wrong, but that's okay. They learn through moving. They learn through doing and touching. They learn through expressing themselves through movement. Good balance, eye to eye or hand coordination. Here, I wrote something down. These people, watch this, they find it hard to sit still for long periods of time because they get distracted for the need of having activity. Anybody know somebody like that that learn through that? There are different ways that we learn. Hallelujah, first lady, come answer this. Hallelujah. Out that way or in office. Somebody give the Lord a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Here now. Worship, worship. Amen. What verse did? Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. We don't own the rights to this music. Amen. Before we stand, this is very important. This is the last part of this. When we start learning lessons, you've got to be willing to change as you learn. Lessons are learned in order for you to change. We are letting the culture raise us. This generation does not know the Lord. And I wrote this last thing down before we stand. Jesus said unto him, rise, take up thy bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole and took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. This is the gist of this message. It took us a while to get here, but it's all right. Anybody back ever been against the wall before? Oh yeah. Here, this man's back was against the wall. Lying in his condition, he heard Jesus speak to him. Even now, as we're praying for Brother Todd. I know he's watching. God wants us to rise from where we are. Because the pool is not the end. The pool is really the beginning. 
Because there are more pools and there are more atmosphere, more territory you got to get to. Pastor George called me today. We talked for an hour. As I'm getting ready for worship, he's in Daytona. Amen. Iron sharpens iron. We talk and we talk. How many know you got to circle yourself around people that's going to pour into you? And this morning, I just felt like he, he just was dumping water from the pool on me. Just giving us strength and giving us power and giving us, giving us amen, a, a way to get to God. Hallelujah. Some of us, amen, as I'm looking at this cameraman, how many know you got to stop being dry? God didn't cause you to have a dry spirit. I don't know who I'm talking to. But how many know if you got the Holy Ghost, you should be overflowing with his anointing. Everybody standing. This last one. And immediately the man was made whole. He took up his bed and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. What we find out is that everybody was upset. Because Jesus healed them on the Sabbath day. How many know that's the, really the gist of the whole story? Because they said that Jesus did something wrong on the holy day. And he went against God's word. Does it matter how we get done? Hmm? Does it matter how we arrive? Does it matter when the phone call comes? <laughs> oh, we had to get that phone call. <laughs> How many know God is waiting for you at the pool to jump in? At the stirring, the moving of the water. The water is his prompting. It's his Holy Ghost. It's his Holy Spirit pulling you into the water. Father, as we pray now, in the name of Jesus, Father, we pray this delivery would have blessed our young people they could get an understanding, amen, of what we're talking about today. Father, don't let them be discouraged or convinced to go another way outside of your will. Father, help us to not only get in the pool, but want to know what this refreshing water is. Father, we thank you for the newness of life today. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, oh God, that gives us life and joy. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, as we leave this place in never your presence, oh God. Father, bless us. We know that we'll give you perpetual praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise.